Hi everyone, welcome to Snetly. In today's video, we are going to discuss about real-time closed loop speed control of sensor-based PMSM motor with a PA control logic. In previous video, we have implemented the open loop speed control of PMSM motor. Watch previous video for clear understanding of the closed loop concept. We will implement both model level design for closed loop speed control and will configure the physical connection of PMSM motor as well as the inverter power module with this Netly hardware tool. Let us now see the hardware unit of Snetly. In previous video, we have shown the pin configurations where we need to connect to a digital input has been shown as well as your digital output pin configuration which has been given in the below pin details. It will be available in the each and every block by right clicking you have an help window so that you can check the pin configuration over there. This will be your current sensor signal as well as your voltage sensor pin configuration. This is our three phase voltage source power module. Here in this application we are going for maximum 200 volt VDC so that I am using a variable auto transformer single phase. These are the physical connection we are connected with the Snetly hardware tool. Firstly, we need to connect motor feedback that will be your digital input connection. After developing the model level design, we will get the digital output so that we need to connect the digital output pin to the inverter power module. It has been connected in the DB25 connectors and DB9 will be your digital input connectors. And for your voltage and current measurement, you can connect over the analog signals. These are the physical connection we need to make from the hardware unit to the Snetly. Next, we will go for the model level design. Here you can see the digital input from the motor, we will get pulse A, pulse B and index pulse. I have connected to the logic analyzer to view the waveform from the motor feedback. And we have used a glitch filter so that any noise from the input feedback it will be filled out. And we are using two pulse to speed feedback block, one for PPR calculation and another one for the reference signal generation. So here we are using higher PPR cal calculation for the reference signal so that more accuracy will be getting over there. And for a speed measurement we have used as a index pulse for the speed measurement. This code we have already seen in the open loop for the PPR calculation we have calculated from the A pulse edge detection method based on the edge detection number of PPR present in the encoder we have already seen 2500 PPO and here the knob in previous case we just vary the amplitude of sign so that the duty cycle will be vary here we need to adjust the set speed based on the PA value which we have used and it will create the modulation index so this is a scripting program for PA control logic in processor either we can create with a model level design or we can write script programming as well as assembly coding. We have a permanent PID blocks so that you can just assign your PI value and a lower limit upper limit value and the sample frequency your PI should be working on. This is just for an example how to create a script programming we have written over here. Here we have used three processor block one will be scientific type processor another will be a legacy type in scientific processor we have created three reference signal based on the rotor angle that is the function we have performed in scientific type 1 processor in legacy processor we have calculated number of ppr present in the pulse a signal with a method of edge detection and one more processor we are used for the PA controlling where we 
I designed all these in scripting programming. Even you can write the program in assembly language. In processor, we can either go with the coding script or you can develop model level design. This block which we have already seen in the open loop, based on the position feedback, we need to create a three reference sinusoidal signal with a phase shift of 120 degree and we need to get a variable amplitude so that I am giving knob for variable amplitude control. From the reference signal, we will compare with the carrier signal with the help of 4 channel comparator and we will get the 6 digital output. In order to connect with the hardware unit, I am going to use a dead time controller with a 1 microsecond delay. From the dead time controller, we can directly connecting to the output of DB25 connector. And logically, we are not converting any code composing logic here. The model level design which you are developed in this netly is directly interfacing with the hardware power module. Now just clicking on the run button, our motor starts running and you can see the absorption of speed encoder signal A, B and index pulse in the logic analyzer and the set speed in the knob. Now it is in 307 rpm and actual speed you can observe in the display point and the top one will be your modulation index value. It is increasing on 0 0.2, 0 0.3. By gradually increasing the set speed, our actual speed also should be tracking over that. Based on the PA value, our modulation index will be applicable. You can observe here with the motor running condition. Now we have accepted the set speed 1719 and the actual speed also 1719 and our modulation index is 0.6 and you can observe the clear waveform of your encoder signal. Yes, pulse and B pulse will be in a phase shift of 90 degree and we will get 2500 ppr per revolution and the third one is our index pulse, it will get 1 pulse per revolution. So that one mechanical rotation it will give only one pulse and I have connected the set speed and actual speed to the plotter. So by clicking on the set speed value in knob you can observe the waveform in the plotter change over and the actual speed is tracking to the set speed. I am keeping minimum value 500 and it is tracking to 500. You can clearly observe the waveform as well as digital values in the display point. In DSO you can clearly observe the three phase reference sinusoidal signal comparing with a carrier signal and we are getting output in the logic analyzer nothing but the integrated logic analyzer ILA so that we are getting, getting 6 digital output for a 3 phase voltage source module we need to generate 6 PWM now I am going to the maximum rated Two thousand RPM, and you can see your actual speed tracking, and you can see your plot reading values. Here, actually, two knobs has been used: one for set speed adjustment, and another one for the initial PA value chosen. So since our motor stationary condition we won't get any rotor feedback we need to run in manual mode so that the initial index value modulation index value we need so we are keeping at 0.15 value of your PA output value.
This is a simple closed loop speed control of PMSM motor which has been generated so quickly in our Smartly tool. You can directly connect to a digital input and you can view your digital input with inbuilt ILA. And internally we have DSOs so that we can visualize the waveform which we are generating the reference signal with the carrier signal. From that we are going to compare the signals. From comparator we are getting 6 output that can be seen in another logic analyzer. There is no required of digital storage oscilloscope externally. All can be viewed internally itself. Visualizing concept will be covered over here. By decreasing the DC link voltage of voltage source power module, the motor speed get reducing and it will be stopping off. And we comes to an end. This is the complete module level design for the closed loop speed control of PMSM motor on real time. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.